St. Patrick's Miracles? Legends concerning the patron saint of the Emerald Isles? Now, we explore the legend of St. Patrick. The Druids were the bitterest opponents of good St. Patrick in his great work of Christianizing Ireland. Their priests were powerful and malignant magicians. In order to prevail against their wicked works, St. Patrick had need of all his miracle working power. In spite of his benevolence, he had to curse their fertile lands and cause them to become cold and barren bogs. Their rivers were made uninhabitable to fish, and their very kettles were cursed, so that no matter how hot a fire was kindled under them, water would not boil within them. At last, all these things failing to prevail against the Druids, St. Patrick ordered the earth to open and swallow them. The greatest of miracles performed by St. Patrick was, of course, ridding Ireland of snakes and blessing the soil, so it would ever after be obnoxious to all reptiles. Legend goes, the saint called all the serpents to the top of a hill and compelled them to swallow another, till none was left. Another account is to the effect that Patrick drove them out by beating a drum, striking it so hard as to knock a hole in it, whereupon an angel lest the accident should frustrate the saint's object, appeared and mended the wren in the instrument, which, patch and all, was shown as a holy relic as late as fifty or sixty years ago. It is stated that one huge serpent was chained in Love Dilvin, where it was bidden to remain till Monday. The word of release has never been spoken. It is said, that if your ears are properly quickened, you may to this day at Laudilvin hear the snake call out Monday mornings in good Irish. It's a long Monday, Patrick. Spooky 